Dear Digital Diary, what a strange birthday it was today. You won't believe what happened. It began like any other birthday. Presents, cards, and a cake. But then Grandpa called. Hello? Hi, George. Hey, Grandpa. Congratulations with your birthday, eh? Oh, thanks, Grandpa. Did you receive my present? What present? Really, I did send it. But I didn't get any present from you this year. I don't know why you did not get it. If you ordered it for an online delivery, I should have received it already. You are right, George. And I intend to find out why. Oh, thanks. You will have your present today. Turning 11 is great. You get a lot of presents. But it was strange not to get a present from Grandpa. Grandpa! Hey, George, how are you? Wait, what are you doing here? You, you came all the way from Mustard? Yes, I had a bad journey, but I have to come to you because I want to talk about your present. I called the store and they said it must be lost somewhere in the internet between you and me. You never got it and it wasn't returned to them. So let's go to visit internet and look for your present. I want you to have it in time for your camping trip. Grandpa, you can't visit the internet. It's in cyberspace. It's online. It's virtual. It but the cable, you connect your computer with you. Where does it go? To the internet's service provider. You know, the ISP. There are lots of them. All right then, we're going to visit the ISP to find out where your present is. We must find it. I had never visited an ISP before, but Grandpa insisted we pay them a personal visit. Hey, so do you uh, work here? Yeah, I'm Martin. I'm one of the Net North en Network Engineers. I'm looking for the present of my grandson. A uh, present? Yes. He sent me something valuable by the internet, and I, I didn't get it. We only deliver internet packets on time. We don't deliver actual packages. But the store said to save time, I send it by internet. Okay, well, let's say they really did do that. Do you know how the internet works? No idea. Okay, well, things don't just get stuck on the internet. Uh, data either gets routed or it gets dropped. It uh. never gets stuck. Um, are you a NetNord customer? No, I'm not. I am, but Grandpa's lumber gone line. Okay, hang on. Martin from NetNord yeah, explained to us everything sent over the internet is broken up into data packages, big ones and small ones. And like real packages, each one has a unique sender address and a receiver address. Except that internet addresses consist of just a few numbers, and that's enough to deliver them anywhere in the world, faster than you can say ISP. I'd like to tell you more, but I really have to uh, get these server parts installed. But what about the present of Michelinson? I must have it for his birthday. If you can help me, I want to see the manager of the whole internet. Nobody and no company manages the entire internet. Uh, the internet is simply a set of arrangements between networks to exchange data. Let me show you how that works. At school we use internet, but nobody ever taught us how it works. So imagine you have the NetNord here yes. and Limburg Online here. How do these two networks exchange data? Do you know that? Well, that either goes through a direct connection or through some central point, like for example an internet exchange. Now, so here we have the Amsterdam Internet Exchange and uh, NetNord and Limburg Online exchange traffic through the Amsterdam Internet Exchange. So data from NetNorth to Limburg Online goes here and then there. Actually, the, the data center I want to go today is uh, one of the main locations of the Amsterdam Internet Exchange. And probably the company you bought your present from is at the Amsterdam Internet Exchange as well, exchanging traffic with NetNorth and Limburg Online. Do you want to go along? The bus looked kind of old, but if it was going to bring us closer to finding my present, Grandpa and I thought, let's go. On the way to Amsterdam to look for my missing present, Martin explained to us that while computers generate and receive the data, it's the routers that really make the internet work. At 
any moment, there are billions of internet packets on their way to their destinations, like us in the NetNord bus. But packets are dumb. They don't have a driver like Martin to choose which road to take. Instead, routers check the final destination of every packet and put them on the next best road to that destination. That made sense. But what was an internet exchange? You see this roundabout? Internet exchanges are like roundabouts. Imagine that the road we are on belongs to NetNord. But to get to where we're going, we need to switch to a road operated by a different ISP. The best place to do that is at an internet exchange, where connections to many different networks come together. See all these exits from this roundabout? Some are to small destinations like a nearby village. Some exits are to larger destinations like a big city. And some exits just lead to bigger roads, which you could follow all the way to another country. Now, I want you to think more abstractly than roads and cities. As data, we will travel at the speed of light. And instead of a place, our destination is another network. Because internet exchanges are neutral, just before entering the roundabout, I mean the internet exchange, the connected ISPs tag every packet with the name of the exit that it has to take. The switch between networks can happen very fast. Millions of packets every second. It was all very new to Grandpa, but I could imagine how one of these virtual roundabouts must look. Internet data as flashes of light zipping between different ISPs and passing through many routers and internet exchanges in a blink of an eye. Martin told us that not only was the Amsterdam Internet Exchange the main hub for Dutch ISPs, but it's also one of the major internet connection points for the whole world. So this is one of the data centers where Amzix is also present. Speaking of presence, I still don't believe that your present is stuck here. It's just not possible. But we can take a look. This data center is very well secured. It has a thick walls and a huge fence, and it has a biometric identification to make sure that no one that doesn't belong here can get in. Can I get your IDs? Oh, yes. This data center has power from two different uh, power stations to make sure that the equipment always stays running. And if they, those fail, then there's a diesel generator that uh, can keep it running for days. Martin seemed relaxed. But I felt like we were about to see the country's gold reserves. What we got here is uh, kilometers of uh, equipment racks with all sorts of equipment belonging to companies like us. And all this equipment is stored in a cool and dry environment. Let me take this from you. We couldn't go inside, so Martin took us to an observation room. So, this is your future. All machines. No people. Well, don't think of this place as lifeless. There are millions of people connected to these servers at the moment. They use them to do uh, business and to connect to family and friends. When you access a website, you're usually connected to a place like this, of which there are many around the whole world. How many of these servers are your customers connected to your network? Actually, there's a lot of competition. Uh, there's a lot of ISPs and networks in here. So why are there so many in Amsterdam? What's so special about Amsterdam for internet and web servers? That's a good question. You know, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Arjen. He works for uh, the Amsterdam Internet Exchange. He can answer all your questions. If he is so smart, he better find the presents for my grandson and quick. Martin brought us to the control center. It sure felt like we were causing trouble for a lot of people. Hey Martin, links you today. I know, your magic bus. No, just uh, server maintenance today. I, mean. um, I want you to meet one of our customers. This is George. George yeah. Hello George. This is Hi, grandfather uh, Hank Hello. from Maastricht. Welcome. Um, actually it's very rare that we have visitors here because of the tight security.